Today I want to show you guys a few potential fixes for a common problem on the BMW gauge clusters from this generation. Now you might have a gas gauge or a water gauge that is temperamental and when you tap on the glass the needle will bounce around and start working again. If your gas gauge or water gauge are experiencing these issues, it's probably due to one of three issues. So let's take a look at the back of the cluster. One of the most common reasons why an, a temperature or a gas gauge will work intermittently is that simply one of the 7 millimeter nuts on the back, which is a ground nut, has become loose. There's one here for the water side and one here for the gas gauge. If you take your cluster out and you find that one of these nuts is loose, that's likely all your problem was. The second most common cause for an intermittent gauge is that the ground posts on the gauge itself have corroded. To clean off that corrosion, we're going to have to split the cluster and remove these nine screws that hold down the back of the cluster. Then we're going to remove each gauge and clean the posts of each terminal. Now we'll carefully split the cluster in half. Now we'll remove the water gauge first and clean the terminals on this gauge. To remove the gauge, let's remove that 7 millimeter nut. Also remove the small ground washer, and now we'll just carefully wiggle the gauge out of the board. And all we're going to do here is take some fine sandpaper and sand these terminals down and remove any corrosion that may be on those posts. Now that we've cleaned those terminals nicely, we can reinstall our temperature gauge back into the board. And don't forget to put our small washer on first. The big washer goes on the back and our seven millimeter nut. Now we'll repeat those exact same steps for the gas gauge on the other side. Now that the terminals are clean, we're going to put that small washer on first. And reinstall this back into the board. Again, the large washer goes on in the back and replace the 7 millimeter nut. Again, if you get any fingerprints on the faces of the gauges, we can just use some paper towel and some glass cleaner, such as Windex, to clean off our fingerprints. If these two easy solutions don't solve the problem, then either the gauge itself has a fault, or it's possible that the cluster has a short somewhere in one of the circuits and should be replaced. Now we'll carefully put the two pieces of the cluster back together and aligning those delicate pins at the bottom. Now we'll just replace the nine screws that we removed. Well guys, I hope you get lucky and one of those quick fixes solves your problem. If it did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.